everyone it's Shelby welcome back to my channel welcome back to 2018 mega pantry slash freezer stock up so it's that time of year um, usually once a year or so I do a big grocery haul and restock the pantry you can see some of my <laughs> shelves are bare some need restocking and uh, organizing so that's what I'm going to do is uh, take inventory of what I have, um, find areas where I need to replenish. Um, I have th pretty much things labeled and I know what my um, par level is. So I just have to go through and um, make a list and get busy and restock. All right, that's what we're doing. That's our new project. <laughs> We just got back from BJ's. We did a huge freezer haul. Let me show you what we got. We got some cube steak, a couple packages, um, some center cut loin pork chops, and the steaks, the porterhouses were on sale, so we got six of those. The baby back ribs, $2.79 a pound, so I got four big packages of those. And then these ones were in the cryovac, the baby back ribs, $2.79 a pound. And then this one was the St. Louis style. I like these two. These were $2.49 a pound. I stocked up on pork butt. I got four of those. They were $1.79 a pound. And then I got four eye of the round roast. I have one in the freezer, so that'll be five total. These were $3.69 a pound. And then Ken and I went ahead and got a couple primal cuts. This is a whole beef loin strip, uh, $6.99 a pound. And then you can just cut the, you know, the New York steaks how you want them, how thick you want them. And then he really splurged. This was $8.99 a pound for the uh, ribeye steaks. They're boneless and you can cut them how thick you want them. So that was kind of a splurgy item. I got three uh, pounds of ground pork. I occasionally use that, so it'll be nice to have that on the freezer. And then uh, four gallons of milk. This was, how much was this, Kenny? The milk? $1.99. So it's almost half off our grocery store here in town. That's how bad our grocery store <laughs> is. And that's why we do this stock up. This is 22 rolls of the Bounty paper towels. Ken got some WD-40 for the lawnmower. We got limes and lemons, avocados, bananas, and look at this huge pineapple. I wanna say it was $2.49. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. We got some tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. I picked up a head of iceberg lettuce and a six pack of romaine and then garlic I use a lot of garlic and I thought this would be such a nice thing to have it already peeled I need to make some garlic butter so I thought that would be handy two English cucumbers a big bag of carrots red onions Vidalia onions celery and potatoes and this haul from BJ's was $700. But oh my gosh, the amount of meat that we got to go in the freezer is amazing. So I'm going to get this packaged up into the freezer. This year, I was so happy, you guys. I used Sam's Club because they have free delivery on some items for the pantry stock up. Walmart, Target, and Amazon had free shipping. So a lot of the stuff that we use to stock up the pantry, I try to take advantage of comparing Target against Sam's Club against Walmart and picking the best priced item and having it free shipped to my front door. <laughs> so I didn't have to haul it. I am stocked up for TP as well, let me tell you. When I saw that they would ship that, I ordered like, I don't know, like a year's worth. I don't have to haul TP from the store for like at least a year. Well, I've been stocking up my pantry and I placed a lot of orders from Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Amazon because they all have free shipping on the pantry stuff. And this is my first bunch of stuff. 
<laughs> and I think I'm going to use the cardboard when we do my garden as a layer. Um, um, I just need to make sure I need to get all this tape off anything colored with the ink. But anyway, I'm going to get this stuff unloaded, see what we got. So this is my Target haul. I got five of the 40 ounce Jif creamy peanut butter and five of the extra crunchy peanut butter. Those were $5.79. We got 10 of the petite diced tomatoes, 14 and a half ounce. These were 79 cents each. I got the Hidden Valley four pack uh, dressing mix, six uh, packages. These were $4.79 a piece. We got uh, five of the 20 ounce sliced pineapples for $1.19. And as far as the tomato paste, this is six ounces, 49 cents, and we have 10. We got uh, 10 cans, 28 ounce crushed tomatoes, $1.29 a piece. We ordered one 16 ounce uh, whole pepperoncinis. These were um, $1.59. The 20 ounce pineapple chunks were $1.19 and I ordered five. We ordered five of the 20 ounce crushed pineapple and those were also $1.19. Mild diced green chilies. These are the seven ounce, so they're a little bit bigger than the regular ones. These were 99 cents and we ordered. I got five of the 15 ounce sliced peaches. They were 99 cents. We got six of the brown gravy mix just to have on hand and these were 99 cents a piece. I got 10 of the garbanzo beans. They were 79 cents a piece. I got 10 of the black beans. They were 79 cents. I got 10 cans of the dark kidney beans. They were 79 cents. We got 10 of the light red kidney beans, they were also 79 cents. We got 10 of the pinto beans, they were also 79 cents. These uh, cannellini beans were 99 cents. So I just got another few boxes from Target from the order I put in to stock the pantry. Whoever packed this Target uh, box boxes, they really were serious. This is this is uh, how uh, the Walmart was packaged. Now the first few boxes we got from Target, they weren't. Um, they just had like one of these little things in it and didn't do much. But like this is packed well. So maybe it was just a, a bad packer day. <laughs> the first few boxes. Because these are packed very good. So here's our Target haul. We got three of these Lee and Perrin 15 ounce uh, bottles. They don't carry this at Walmart, so I had to get it at Target. And they were $4.69 a piece. And then these are 27 ounce whole Ortega green chilies. And we bought five of those. They were $3.99 a piece. I also got five of the Aunt Nellie's. This is the 16 ounce sliced pickled beets, $1.59. Normally I pickle my own beets, but I haven't done any canning for quite some time. I need to get back into that, hopefully this fall. I got 12 of the eight ounce pieces and stem mushrooms. Those were $1.69. Let's see, what else did we get in this haul? We got a pound of the dry roasted peanuts. I like to have those on hand uh, if I'm making like an Asian stir fry, something something like that, uh, you know, Kung Pao chicken kind of thing. And those were, you find the price on those, $2.33. I also got some saltine crackers. These were $1.79. We got 10 of these sliced water chestnuts and they were 89 cents a piece. From Target we got the green onion dip mix. It's my oldest son's favorite. We got 12 of those. They were 99 cents a piece. I got this uh, True Lemon Lemonade, the little water refreshers. It was $1.99. This is another item I stocked up on. This was the whole roaster chickens. I got 30 of them 
79 cents a pound and for 30 I spent 165 dollars and these are so versatile you can do so much with those you can roast them smoke them you know cook them uh, take like you're making broth and then use the meat for just endless recipes so great deal there The delivery guy just left and here is looks like pretty much my Walmart pantry order. I am so <laughs> thankful that I don't have to cart all this stuff. Go to the store and you know walk around and haul it to the car and haul it home. It's just delivered. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff in the house and unpacked and show you what I got. So some of it's Sam's and some of it's Walmart. And I have to say Walmart did a much better job in packing things. Every item that was um, glass was um, individually packed. They taped the lid and a lot more packing. So I guess Walmart wins the, the award for packing. And I think I'll probably stick with them because of this. Um, if I was to return something to Target, it would be an hour away from me, so it's not worth it. So just thought I'd mention that. We did a Honey Dijon Mustard. This was $2.47. And this Old Style Ground Mustard was $2.98. I bought uh, nine of these, let's see, four pound, two and a half ounce tunas, and they were $11. 97 I believe these are the big 15 ounce a ones and they were 493 a piece from Walmart These are the large 40 ounce sweet baby Ray barbecue sauce. I got five and they were 298 a piece four ounce Kitchen bouquet was 273 these are one pound Bridgeford pepperoni sticks and they were 596 a piece I thought that was a great value. This is the Valentina, the black label salsa picante. It's a huge one, 34 ounces. We paid two thirteen for this. And Ken and I, how much did we pay for this at the store here? Was it like six, almost six dollars? So this really uh, just gives an indication, you know, by shopping around, we saved a lot of money. Our grocery store here is so high anyway, but. Um, so we got four of those. I got the big 32 ounce of the whole pepperoncinis. I got four of these and they were 383 a piece. And I figured I could make um, several of those Mississippi roasts using uh, one of these jars. And we love that. So yeah, great price. I don't buy too much processed food, but these are handy to have on hand. Sometimes I do use them. This is a double pack and the double pack was $2.25 and I purchased six. We got two of the 12 ounce Heinz chili sauce. They were $2.48. We got one of the French's crispy fried onion rings. This is a six ounce container, $3.46. I use this to make the green bean casserole and sometimes Ken likes to put those on his salads. We got two of these great value shortenings. I don't use this very often, but I do like to keep it on hand. 42 ounces for $4.12. Great value queen size stuffed olives, 10 ounces. And that was $2.98. Two 14 ounce great value sweetened coconut flakes, 14 ounces, $1.98 each. 18 ounce of the oyster sauce, $3.46. I got four of the canola oil. This was 128 ounce for $5.97 each. I also had peanut oil. This was a gallon. Luana, $12.98. And I had two of these 63 ounce gain flings they were $19.97 a piece I'll get those in my laundry room in this box we had 10 of the chicken broths 32 ounce they were $1.38 a piece 
I also got 10 of the beef broth, eight of the Aju packets, and they were 98 cents a piece. Two of the 16 ounce jalapeno slices, they were $1.82, excuse me, a piece. We got seven of these large 15 ounce mandarin oranges, they were 98 cents a piece. I saw these, even though I bought some from Target, this was an eight pack for $8.68 for the uh, ranch dressing mix. So there's two packs in here. So that was even cheaper than Target. And I got two of them. Because I use a lot of this. I needed two of the Heinz yellow mustard. These were $1.97 a piece. I needed one of the Heinz 57. This is the large 20 ounce. And this was $5.26. Golden spicy brown mustard, $1.48, 12 ounces. These are the double packs of a gratin potatoes. I use these occasionally and the double pack was $2.25. I got six. Ken likes this on the border hot salsa. I got two, they were $2.24 a piece. In this box was a gallon size of pork and beans and there was three of them in there and they were $5.98 a piece. I like having those on hand to make the baked beans and buying them by the gallon size is really cheap. In this box was a couple bags of On the Border Cantina Thins, the big 16 ounce bag for $2.98. And I was afraid it might get smushed, but they packaged them well. They look like they survived. So I'm pretty impressed. I also got six of the 27 roll Scott Tissue Septic Safe, $16.97 a piece. They hauled it. <laughs> I didn't have to. I got this 32 ounce Maple Grove Maple Syrup, $17.98. I went ahead and I got this Kikomo uh, Tempura Batter Mix. It was $1.56. I thought that might be fun to have on hand. You know, at the end of the week, if you have some veggies, you can make some tempura. And I got, um, I think this was $1.48. Yeah, $1.48 for Sloppy Joe's mix. The kids like those pizza burgers and like to keep one on hand. I got two of these three pound, three ounce cans of chopped ocean clams. These make a huge pot of New England clam chowder and usually I take some of the clams and make clam fritters. It's um, $12.65 a piece and I got two of them. I got 12 of this canned roast beef. It's 12 ounces, $2.74 a piece. These are great to make uh, shredded beef tacos, taquitos, that kind of stuff. I like to have it on hand if I don't have canned, home canned roast beef. The one pound extra wide egg noodles. I got eight of those for $1.23 each. I got a fluid ounce of red food coloring for $2.98 and 3.25 onion powder for 98 cents. I got two of these 10 pound old fashioned oats. They were 16.96 uh, for the two of them. So they were 8.48 a piece. The ketchup, I got six of these Heinz, 44 ounce. The two count was 7.48. So 324 a piece. I got 10 ounce sliced pimentos. They came in a special uh, 12 pack and these were $1.18 a piece. I got 12 of these 12 ounce marinated and quartered artichokes. They were $2.62 a piece. I got eight of the eight fluid ounce clam juice and those were $1.68 each. I got 12 of these 6 ounce Uncle Ben's wild, long grain and wild rice boxes for $1.98 a piece. And I went ahead and I picked up one of these just to have on hand. 15 ounces, $1.48 for the Italian breadcrumbs. I like to make my own breadcrumbs, but you know, sometimes you don't have extra, you know, day old bread or something. So that will come in handy. This is the red curry paste that I use for my curry in a hurry. And it's hard for me to find this around this area. So I ordered six of these and they were $2.42 a piece. And that is way cheaper than what I found it um, in 
neighboring cities. So I got six of those. 48 ounce of honey from Ambrosia Honey Company was $13.98. 3.4 ounce of garlic powder was 98 cents. I purchased six of these uh, five ounce cans of chow mein noodles. This is expensive if I can find it at our store. And I only paid $1.48 for these. I love to put these on top of that Chinese chicken salad that I make. So I got six. I purchased two of the Kraft marshmallow cream, seven ounce, $1.48 for the the one ounce of parsley flakes was $1.98. The Morton canning salt was $1.48 for four pounds. I got two of these three pounds of the kosher salt, and that was $2.44 each. The nice thing about shopping at Walmart is you can buy other stuff on their webpage. I got a new hand mixer. This was $34.92. Okay, for our Sam's Club haul, we got Special K 43 ounces. This was $6.88. It had a $2 instant savings. And then we got a big thing of frosted mini weights, 58 ounces. It had a $2 instant savings. It was $5.35. And we got 98 granola bars. $3 instant savings, so that was $9.98. So those were our little fun kid treats. I did pick up this, uh, it's a two pack of the two pounds of Velveeta. So there's four pounds in each of these. And I got three of them. And they were $12.98 a piece. So that was a great price. Because if you remember and a couple grocery hauls ago, I paid $6 or $6.99. What was it? <laughs> it was crazy for a pound. So that was a good uh, deal there. I purchased um, Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. It came in a two-pack, and you had to order two, and the whole thing was $12.48. The Frito Bean Dip was a six-pack. Ken and the kids already got into one of them. Um, can't be uh, slow around here, I tell you. But the uh, six pack was $13.58. The 100 Pod K Cup McCaff. Is it McCaff or McCafe? McCafe. McCafe. <laughs> Gonna be like McCafe. Put your pinky out. <laughs> uh, the 100 K, K Cup uh, had a $6 rebate. So it came out to $33.98 a piece. The Barilla six pack of pasta was $7.92 a piece. I got two uh, big packages to stock up. The donut shop one also had the rebate and this was $32.98, 100K cups. So I got these huge 64 ounce mayonnaise, four of them. Um, we're doing some parties this summer, uh, barbecue style parties. And I thought these would come in handy. They were $17.38. And then, I also got a 50 count of the small Doritos for the kids' lunches and things like that. And they were 12 something. I can't remember exactly, 12 something for that. I got a box of Hershey's chocolate bars, 36 count for $19.98 from Sam's. Ken and I went in to get some milk at the store. We're right in the middle of doing the major uh, pantry stock up and we caught some great sales. So we got four gallons of milk and he saw these were $1.88, so we got four of those. We got some potatoes and a combination of white button and cremini mushrooms, fine ripe tomatoes, four avocados, some corn on the cob, and bananas, a watermelon. And the meat sales were kind of out of this world. Our son's birthday's tomorrow. We were deciding what we wanted to do, and we found these beautiful tomahawk uh, steaks for $9.99 a pound. So that was kind of a splurge item for his birthday. Now, the ground beef had a $5 off coupon on every package, so I saved $50 just 
buying the ground beef and I got 10 packages so this is going in the freezer for another day and then I got three packages of the Italian sausage the butcher was there he marked it down two dollars a package that's going in the freezer and these are those Hoffman uh, German they're pork beef and veal uh, Franks and I they're on sale this week seven dollars off and so I got that um, to put on the grill the st. Louis style ribs were on sale for 269 I got four um, ribs the uh, chicken drumsticks were 79 cents a pound I got two packages I figure I could put some on the grill or or the smoker and maybe f deep fry some like country southern buttermilk fried drumsticks I picked up $2.99 for the Hellman's mayonnaise it's on sale this week this was a Ken purchase two for five uh, that went in the cart when I had my back turned and we picked up some hamburger hot dog buns and the total was 243 what is that 75 we saved 90 dollars so i didn't anticipate um going in and doing this this grocery haul um i haven't even made my menu plan for the week so it's just like i'm doing it backwards we got the meat now i'm gonna make the plan we did another price chopper haul. We got a couple more watermelon and some corn. I'm gonna make a corn casserole. Uh, we got some parsley, the flat leaf parsley, and four things of strawberries. I'm gonna make the strawberry cheesecake bites that have the blueberry on them for 4th of July so it looks like red, white, and blue. I'm also gonna make a strawberry cake. And it's a really good recipe. And I'm a sucker the Rainier cherries were on sale and they only are here for a few weeks and I got some of those my hidden pleasure now my uncle's coming he's almost 90 years old and I splurged and got four of these tomahawk steaks they're still on sale for $9.99 and I'm gonna serve those for one dinner um, when he's here he's the coolest uncle ever He's a retired psychiatrist, and I just love him dearly. And he's on his way to Poland, and he's stopping by to see us for a few days. Okay, the New York steak with bone-in was on sale for $4.77 a pound. So I went ahead and I um, got several packages. I'm going to put them in food uh, saver bags, vacuum pack them, and get those in the freezer. I got some eggs, three dozens, uh, some cheese. Uh, it was $1.99 for 8 ounces. I also got some sliced Swiss to make some tuna melts. As far as dairy, we have some uh, cream cheese, sour cream, a couple things of heavy whipping cream, and buttermilk. I got some hot dog buns. I got the cheap uh, white bread. And this is what the guys like their... Uh, patty melts with the tuna on them so that's what I got when I was at the store these were on sale for 88 cents for the French bread I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but that was a good value so I picked two up picked up a couple bags of barbecue chips some grape soda kids are gonna enjoy that and then this is a cake mix that I'm gonna use um, to make a uh, layered cake and it has strawberry filling and then whipped cream yum yum and then we got some air fresheners i also stocked up on jimmy dean applewood smoked bacon this is ken's absolute favorite bacon it was on sale for 3.99 and some of them i had a coupon a dollar off so i got some for 2.99 some for 3.99 but i ended up getting 60. so we are stocked on bacon and bacon freezes so wonderfully but yeah that is a good deal. At our grocery store, this is $7.99. Can you believe that? So that was half price. When Ken went to the store the other day, uh, these were $1.99, and he had some coupons, so some of them were 99 cents, and he got, I think it was 10, I think the boys ate one, but um, he stocked up on just a big variety of ice cream for them. Ken and I don't eat ice cream because we're lactose intolerant, but the boys, they'll really enjoy that. 
So that was a good sale price. Also, when Ken went back to Price Chopper to get the ice cream, uh, the mayonnaise was still on sale for $2.99. So he picked up 12 mayonnaise. And that's about what we go through in a year, it's 12 of them. But this year, I think we'll probably go through a few more because we have a few barbecues planned this summer. Um, we're hosting a party for this couple that's getting married and we're doing like a big barbecue so I know I'm going to use a lot more mayonnaise but yeah that was a good deal. We did a little bit of uh, freezer stock up these Hoffman German brand Franks it's 42 ounces these were seven dollars off so I paid $8.99 these are the best hot dogs ever oh my gosh so I got, I think it was 10 of those. And then when I was in the store, these were regularly $4.29 for the grill mates. They were on sale for $2.99 and they had a Peely um, sticker, 55 cents off in my store doubles. So that made them $1.89. I got 10. I picked up some corn and then I picked up four racks of the baby back ribs. Those were $3.79 a pound. I picked up two packages of the chicken thighs, they were 79 cents a pound. They had um, top sirloin for $2.99 a pound. I picked up two packages. I used that for like beef stroganoff or like a broccoli and beef. Pantry items, I picked up 10 of the tomato sauce, a horseradish and a horseradish cream, some bananas. The corn was eight for $2 couple packages of the tortillas $1.99 each and $3.99 for the watermelon and then Ken stocked up on sodas let me go show you I'm not even sure like how much he got but it was $2.49 for a 12 pack and he just stocked up he has them out in the garage here we don't drink much soda but this will last us a year with all of the company well I'm organizing all of my um chili peppers and whatnot my good friend from Albuquerque you know who you are girl Cindy girl she had sent me a couple packages a while back of New Mexico chili and so wonderful for her to do that because she knows how hard it is for me to find this stuff here but when Ken and I were in California I stocked up let me tell you and I got a whole bunch of Wahil chili powder cannot find that here and I got some California chili powder, um, chili de arbo, and then that, you know, you want it for the orange color. And then um, New Mexico chili, and then the Pasilla chili powder. Let's see, I got some onion powder, cilantro powder, and then the whole cilantro, cumin, ground, and epizote. You cannot find epizote hardly in California. I know I can't find it here. But I did get epizote. I got Mexican oregano. And then another big thing of the epizote. I also stocked up on my dried chilies. Now my friend had sent me some from New Mexico. My good friend Cindy. And I also picked up some chili. California. Pasilla chili. The Guajillo chilies. And ancho chilies chili de arbo and then I went to another store and I found the big bags so I got a big bag of pasilla guajillo and then there's um, New Mexico chili a couple of them one's mild one spicy but anyway I don't have my receipt because I took all my dirty clothes out of my suitcase and put them in Ken's suitcase and put all this in my suitcase and I lost the receipt. I don't know if you can see it but in the corner here this was something else I got at the Mexican market and that was three packages of the corn husk for tamales. Yeah that was part of that haul too. And I ordered 24 one ounce package of Taco Bell seasoning. This was from Amazon. So here's what our pantry is kind of looking like. I'm really stocked up on oils and things like that. I'm really happy about that. I do have a few items that I need to get the next time we go to Trader Joe's and just a handful. But I'm not going to make a special trip because it's an hour away. But anyway, you can see how nicely everything is stocked. Everything. Oh my goodness. What a good feeling, huh? pretty much organized it's not perfect but this is my um vanilla you guys were asking me about that 
See, I get those um, grade B vanilla beans and I make my own vanilla. And I always try to have one brewing. Because <laughs> the longer it sits, the better it is. Well, anyway, this just gives you a little indication. We're doing pretty good on this uh, project pantry. Don't mean to make you dizzy, but um, this is kind of like everything is pretty well stocked. Happy days. Well, that concludes the 2018 Mega Pantry slash Freezer Haul. And this is going to be such a blessing for our family. We spent about $3,000, which seems like on face value like crazy. But we are going to save so much money from having to buy at this really unfordable grocery store that we have in town <laughs> or having to travel an hour, hour and a half to, uh, you know, the city to, to buy things more affordably. It is such a blessing for our family. I know we're going to save money over the course of this next year. It feels so good to be stocked up. And I uh, hope you guys got some great ideas. I'll talk to you later. You guys have a great weekend.